hey, let's go over tension slack. So what is a tension slack? It's whenever you have slack, you put some tension in it, and that's what motivates it to go, like that. This is exceptionally stupid. Don't do this. However, you can incorporate that style of motion into your tricks, and you can do some cool stuff with it. Okay, so the first tension slack that most people learn is the uh, Gormley style tension hook. I'm not great at it, clearly, but uh, there are plenty of tutorials for it, so I'm not going to go over it in a lot of detail. Okay, basically, double or nothing, roll over the index finger, then you're pulling these hands apart, and that's what creates the tension. When the offhand index finger lets go, that's what motivates the slack to go around. Okay, cool. Uh, there is an easier tension slack that does a little bit of a better job of illuminating what's going on, and it's the one I already demonstrated for you. It's that one. Well, if I land it, it's that one. So let's uh, go over how to do that. First thing you have to do is get into the mount. The way I do it is thumb, wrist, index. That's not super complicated. What you'll notice is that the thumb is holding onto this bit of slack here. Uh, I pinch with my throw hand pinky finger, and that's what I use to motivate the slack. So there. And then once you get a hang of that, you can start aiming at things. So you can aim it into the gap. Then from there, what I do is I curl my opposite hand up and back. Then when you let go of the stuff on your uh, throw hand, you end up free and clear and you can do whatever you want. Also, instead of aiming it into the gap, you can aim it around the whole yo-yo, which puts you in this sort of dream catcher thing. Some cool stuff you can do with it. Uh, I think the way that I would finish that would be just like, you know, sort of, you know, let's say, do a cross arm sort of thing, then let go into a trapeze. From there, you can do whatever you want. Now, another thing that I want to point out is uh, why are we doing tension slacks? And the reason is because they look cool, okay? What you'll notice is that with this trick, you could just swing the slack around. You could, you know, not do the tension part, just let go and then swing it. However, I'm messing up a little bit there, but you get the idea. You could just swing it, but with the tension slack, what that allows you to do is get the slack to move without a lot of apparent hand motion. So, to me, that's sort of the biggest deal. So, if you want to make it look extra sort of tension-y, just try to hold your hands fairly still as the slack is going. Now we'll go over a few more tension slacks that I think are useful and good to know. Uh, one common one is from uh, this combo. That one. Okay, so I think I might have gone over that in one of my videos already. I think it might have been in the reach across video, but anyway, the way you do it, reach across there. Now roll over your uh, throw hand, then offhand chopsticks, then land back onto this string there. And now the tension comes from your thumb here. Basically you pull and then when your thumb lets go, that will motivate the slack all the way around. If you motiv motivate it hard enough and fast enough, it'll go all the way around the yo-yo. Then you end up like that. Okay, so again, the way you do that, reach across over your throw hand, offhand chopsticks, and there, tension slack around, there. All right, that's a good one. Another one that's uh, fairly common, I think Roland Belkin has some tutorials for this, so if I can't do it perfectly, uh, don't worry, you'll get it from his videos if you go look them up, but uh, start from here, and uh, basically it's similar to the mount that I was working with before, but we're switching our index and our thumb, so we're going over the index first, then the thumb, then we're going to roll over our wrist and land on this front string here that attaches to our uh, hand there. If we pinch on both sides of the yo-yo, you'll notice our thumb is holding a bit of slack that we can basically try to tension around. Okay, and from there, you're in a mount that you can do some stuff with. So, again, follow the uh, Roland Balcom tutorials and he'll uh, explain how to do that one. One more that I think is fun, and uh, it's a little more complicated, so it's going to be a little hard to explain, but uh, it's one that I figured out from a Harrison Lee trick, so uh, basically look at the trick as Harrison Lee does it, and you can try to infer the way that this tension slack works. Anyway, it starts from a magic drop with the trapeze over the thumb, land on the front string, then basically what he does is you uh, 0.5 over your uh, opposite hand, sort of Buddha revenge it, kind of going in that direction, 
dismount off the front, then land on that double string here, and you have this thing, this uh, loop of string here where, that your uh, thumb is holding. And from there, you can tension slack that around, end up with that loop there, and you can end the trick however you want. So, again, the way that you do that, uh, magic drop, front string there, dismount out the front, Herp. it's a little hard there. So then, notice that your thumb on your offhand is what's creating that slack to move. From there, hop up, pluck, and then the way I do it is just land there and problem solved. So anyway, I hope that was fun. Hope that helps anyone who wants to learn some tension slacks. Uh, I will include links to Alex Gallimore's uh, Gormley Tension Hook video and Roland Balcom's uh, sort of slack over uh, tension slack thing uh, for tech stuff down in the bottom. So hopefully those will be helpful and uh, you will be able to rock the thing. Thanks.